In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the exhaust manifold on this Chevy Silverado 2500 with a 6.0 liter engine. We're replacing the driver's side, but the passenger side is the exact same process. Let's install this new TRQ manifold. From underneath, you'll have three 15 millimeter mounting nuts that are on these studs coming out of the manifold. We have to remove all of them and then try to separate the pipe a little bit. You don't have to pull it off or anything, just separate it. So there's one over here. And last one. Pull down on the pipe a little bit. Just to confirm that it separates, that's perfect. Leave it there. Now let's remove the spark plug wires. Start with this back one. Just turn them, twist them to break them free. Sometimes they get stuck on the spark plugs. There we go. Okay, last one is all the way in the front here. There we go. At this point, you can either remove them from the coils or just pick them up and put them out of the way like that. It doesn't matter. They will not get in your way. If they're up here, you just need them out of the way down there for the bolts. Now I'm gonna break the bolts free by hand and then uh, I'm gonna just grab my air ratchet to make things faster and finish removing them. They are 13 millimeter headed bolts. That one's loose. Okay. Go slow and use rust penetrant if you think you need it, or even some heat. That one's broken free now. All right. Now for me, this is gonna be the last one because unfortunately the actual last one is broken for us. Okay, that's all right, that happens often. We have two studs to extract now. Now let's remove the remaining bolts and then we can hopefully pull the manifold out. At this point, the manifold is loose and we just have to basically fish it out in between the steering shaft and the head. If you have to take the shield off, go ahead. I'm going to try not to. And it's going to have to go up to clear those studs. If you want to remove those studs, go ahead or cut them, whatever you have to do. There it is. Remove the gasket. Now you can push your fender liner up and out of the way to get to this stud because I have two to remove. I chose to remove it hopefully for you and you can potentially even access this from up top. However, I made a little bit extra space here so I can show you everything that's going on. To extract these studs, I'm going to take a extractor socket, hammer it on here. There we go, this one's coming out. All right, there's one stud. And now do the same to the other one. Now with a scraper, razor blade, or sanding block, whatever you have that is gentle enough but flat, clean this area so that the new gasket can seal up.
Now, if you go through the fender liner with a pick, you can access the old gasket here on the pipe, pick that off, and if needed, take a wire brush, clean this surface. It doesn't have to look perfect, you just have to get rid of any rust buildup, any raised areas. Sand it down with a sanding block or a sanding disc if you need to, if it's really corroded. And basically you just want to make sure that the gasket seats very nicely in this groove, nice and uh, sealed up. Otherwise you'll have issues with exhaust leaking past it. I'm just going to rinse that off just a little bit, blow some compressed air. Now I can get the new gasket seated on here. It should stay in place. Now get your new manifold, slide it in. Try to make it fit around that steering shaft. Just like that. Once you get it close into position here, we're gonna have to take the gasket, slip that gasket on there. If you're using this gasket that was provided with the exhaust manifold, this side goes towards the exhaust manifold and this side on the head. I'm gonna stick one bolt in and try to line that one up. Doesn't matter which one it is. All, all that matters is that you uh, just line one of them up. Okay. Oh, I got this one to start. The more you can thread this in by hand, the better it is because as you can see, now it'll hold it in position. I'm gonna try to put one towards the other end of the manifold here, just so I can have two points of, uh, two points where it's being held down a little bit further apart. Being further apart will allow this to sit a lot better fitment wise. Once you put two in, it should be mostly lined up on all of them. There we go. This one starts in nicely, pretty much almost bottoms out by hand, so that's great. Now we can install the rest of them. Probably still gonna have to move this around a little bit to fit some of them, just to get the threads lined up. You don't have to thread them in all the way. As long as they start into their threads, I can just drive them in with the ratchet. I always recommend using new hardware for the exhaust manifolds here, even if you're just replacing a gasket, for example, because the hardware here is very often uh, fragile and brittle from heat cycles. These often break, so even if they look like they're in decent condition, this is one of the old bolts I pulled out. Personally, I would not reuse this because it can break soon in the future, so I would just get new hardware for all of these that you're replacing. Now the first step is uh, bottoming them out, of course, getting them close to being snug, but then the torque specification for this is actually in two different passes. On the first pass, you're going to torque them to 11 foot-pounds, and then on the second pass, you're going to torque them to 15 foot-pounds. That's going to be the final torque, and uh, there is a sequence. I'll go over it in a second. For now, I just want to bottom them out. Okay, these are not tightened yet. They are just bottomed out. So the sequence is starting from the center two bolts, working your way towards the outside. And like I said earlier, the first pass is gonna be 11 foot-pounds and then 15. All right, so that was 11. Let's go up to 15 now. This will be the final pass. If you want to go around twice, you can, just to ensure that they're all torqued. But Make sure you at least get them to 15. All right, those are all torqued. Now to finish up up top here, I'm just gonna reinstall all of the spark plug wires. If you took them off of the coils, reinstall them on the ignition coil, and then of course on the spark plug. When you put them on the spark plug, Press them down until they snap into place. They should lock in. It, it'll feel like a, like a click. You won't always hear it, but you will always feel it. Same up top here. If you don't press it in until it clicks, they can pop off while you're driving and well, you'll have misfires and other runnability issues at that point. So 
So you have to make sure that they're engaged onto the plug properly. There we go. If you pull on them just slightly, they should not pop off. All right, let's go underneath and connect the manifold to the pipe. Now let's install the studs into the manifold from the bottom. You can use a seven millimeter socket, put it on the end of the stud. It'll have a cutout. And as long as the bolt holes are lined up, which they should be, just drive them in until they bottom out. Get them snug. Don't worry about tightening them a lot because when you put on the mounting nut to clamp down the pipe, it'll actually tighten both ends. That's bottomed out. I'll give it about a quarter of a turn after. That should be good. Let's install the other two. The other one is gonna be up on top. You'll definitely need a swivel for this one. Just be careful, because with a swivel, sometimes it's easy to cross-thread bolts. Nice and snug. And last one. Now put on the mounting nuts. Start them by hand. That way you know that they're not cross-threading. And let's tighten them up. The torque for these is 15 foot-pounds, so I'm just gonna go until they're snug, then I'll grab the torque wrench. Now, with a swivel, the torque wrench is gonna be a little bit inaccurate, but it's better off than uh, not tightening them properly. Once again, 15 foot-pounds. And once again, I know the swivel is not going to give me a perfect accurate torque spec, but there we go. It's better than not knowing that they're actually tight. It's important to squeeze that gasket just the right amount because if you don't, you could have an exhaust leak. This one stud is installed, nut is bottomed out. And that's it right there. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.